Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect WP Forms to ChatGPT to send AI-generated notifications. AI is the newest and latest craze in the tech world, and ChatGPT is one of the most popular AI chatbots available. By using a third-party plugin called Uncanny Automator, you can connect ChatGPT to WP Forms and use it in a variety of different ways to help you work smarter and not harder. With that said, let's jump right in. After installing and activating the WP Forms plugin, we'll first want to create our form, so let's head into the form builder and start with a blank form. I want to create a new hire form and connect it to ChatGPT so that when someone submits the form, they'll get a unique email welcoming them to the team. So in the form builder, I'm going to add a name field, an email field, fields for the job title, department, manager, and the start date. Once you finish creating your form, save your changes and head back to the dashboard so we can install the Uncanny Automator plugin. Go to the plugins page, click on the add new button on the top left, and then search for Uncanny Automator in the search field on the top right. When it appears, install and activate it. Once the plugin is installed and activated, Click on the Settings tab for Uncanny Automator, which will take you to the License section. Click on the Connect Your Site button to proceed to the next step, and a pop-up will appear where you should click on the Connect Your Free Account button and follow the on-screen instructions. When the connection is complete, we're all set to create our automation, so click on the Add New tab on the left side menu. In Uncanny Automator, automations are called recipes, and each recipe is made up of two components, a plugin that triggers an automation and another app that completes the action based on the trigger event. Here you'll need to select your recipe type. For our specific example, we're going to select the logged in users option since we want the automation to trigger only when logged in WordPress users submit the form, but feel free to select the everyone option depending on your needs. When you've made your selection, click confirm. Create the title for this recipe and then select WP Forms as the trigger plugin. In the available dropdown, choose the trigger event called a user submits a form and then select the form that should trigger this automation when submitted. When you're done, click save. In the action section below, click on the add action button to begin setting up the action that will take place after a user submits the form. From the integration list, select open AI and in the following pop-up, click connect account. Another pop-up will appear asking you for your OpenAI account secret key, which you'll need to generate from your account. Open a new tab and log into OpenAI. From there, click on the user icon on the top right corner and select View API Keys. Here you can click on the Create New Secret Key button to generate one to use for your integration. When you've done so, copy the key and tab back to your WordPress site, paste the key into its respective field, and click Connect OpenAI Account. You should then see a success message confirming that OpenAI is now ready to use with Uncanny Automator. Click on the OpenAI icon and a dropdown will appear where you can select available OpenAI options. Select Use a prompt to generate text with a GPT model. You should then see the following options appear which will let you control how your chat GPT model will behave. Model refers to the language model available in OpenAI. While you can use different models if you choose a different action, we recommend using the default option for this tutorial. Temperature lets you control the level of randomness of ChatGPT's response, from 0 to 2. If you're not sure about this, you can leave it to the default value of 1. The next setting is maximum length. OpenAI counts length as tokens. You can think of tokens as pieces of words, where 1,000 tokens is about 750 words. Again, if you're not sure what to enter here, you can leave this field blank. Next is system message. This is where you'll write whatever instructions you want to give ChatGPT about the kind of response you're expecting it to produce. In other words, the system message field allows you to give ChatGPT context for the message you want it to generate. The prompt is the most important part of the settings. ChatGPT will use anything you write in this field as a prompt to generate a response. So for the system message, I'm telling ChatGPT that the message should be coming from the CEO of Sully's Flowers and that it should reinforce our company's values of putting people first and having a friendly work environment. When writing a prompt, you can choose to include data that can be pulled directly from the form a user submitted, like their name, job title, etc. To do this, click on the asterisk to the right of the text box and scroll down to select the trigger event we set up earlier. From there, you can select any of the form fields to pull data from. 
So my prompt is asking ChatGPT to write a welcome email to the new hire in a professional but friendly tone. I want the AI to include the user's job title and to sign the email as Sully the Bear, CEO of our company. I'm also telling ChatGPT that I do not want the email to have a subject line and instead start directly from the email body. When you've finished creating your system message and prompt, click on the Save button. Next, we need to add another action. We want ChatGPT to send an email on our behalf, but since it can only write the message and not send an email itself, we need to add a new action. Click on the Add Action button and select Emails. In the dropdown that appears, click on Send an Email. Fill in the fields to configure your email settings. In the To field, be sure to click on the asterisk icon on the right and select the email field from your form to make sure users who submit this form will receive the AI email. If you scroll down further, you'll find the subject and body fields for the email. Since we asked ChatGPT to not create a subject line, we're going to manually add a fixed subject title for our email in this tutorial. For the body, we need to insert ChatGPT's text to the email body. Click on the asterisk button on the right, and from the available list, click on Response. When you're done, click Save. Now we can go back to our WordPress site, submit a test entry, and view our newly created AI-generated welcome email. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to connect WP Forms to ChatGPT and create and send AI-generated notifications. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. If you need any extra technical help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team.